Well, back in the co-main event of the card, I guess this is just kind of your spot, right? The co-main event. Yeah, exactly. It's my fourth fight in the UFC, my third co-main event. I think the UFC is really liking what I'm doing here, you know. <laughs> I'm very happy to be in this position, very blessed to be in this position, so I like, I like to be on the spotlight. I know you kind of joke a little bit, right? But if it was just one time, okay, maybe, just, but yeah, I mean, it has to mean something that they keep putting you here, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. They know that, that I'm doing great work, you know. I'm facing tough guys, I'm winning, and I know how to... to to put my image on, you know, so I think they, they, they can preserve that, and, and here I am. <laughs> Very nice. Last year, 3-0, and uh, really progressed your career, uh, like you said, making a name. I guess, what was this last year like for you? How, how big was this in your career and your life? Oh, actually, it was it's a really big deal for me from where I come from, a small city in Brazil, you know, and I always dream about it, to be in the UFC, winning fights, and, you know, I'm, I'm now with three fights winning in a row, and the two fights on the Contender Series, so I'm five-fight winning streak inside Zofa Corporation, and... It's been incredible, man. All the guys from Brazil, they are, they are recognizing my work, recognizing how good I am. And I'm starting to be more like a, 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 something they look for all the time, the example for them, you know. So I'm very happy to be in this position, very blessed, as I said. I have wonderful guys around me. And I think it's just the beginning, man. It's just the beginning. I'm here to be the world champ, and I'm, I know I have a long way to go, but I am on my way. I'm doing everything right. I'm out of my comfort zone all the time, and I, I'm ready. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I love it. I think you've always said you see yourself being world champion, but I just wonder, like, this past year, has it forced you to, to change your goals or to change your schedule, right? Because your dream of being here, then you get here, and it's like now you're achieving these things. Has your, your process or your thought changed over the last year of how your career will go? No, actually not. I, I'm very with my, my feet down on earth, you know. I know where I am right now, and I know what I need to do to be where I want to be, you know. So I'm not doing anything different, actually. I'm getting more money, maybe, but I'm mm -hmm. training even harder. I'm, I'm using this money to hire to hire good guys, to put on my discomfort all the time, and I'm training even harder, and I'm never on the comfort zone, you know, that there's no money on the earth, this earth that's going to make me just be comfortable and stuff, you know. I, I know a lot of fighters does it, but I'm not that kind of fighter, you know. I just keep keep putting myself. I went to train with Kamzat, I went to train with Paulo Costa, I went to train with Sean Strickland, all the good guys, so... I know I'm ready, you know? I know I'm ready. That's awesome. Uh, talk about the matchup you have here. Mahal, obviously, a former light heavyweight, a lot of power. Uh, what do you think about him as an opponent? I think he's a very dangerous opponent, as all the other guys. They were very dangerous. Uh, he's a little bit undimensional, I think. Uh, he's, he likes to box, but he's very technical boxing and very a technical brawler, as, 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 if I can say like that. I think it's a good matchup because he's coming from two knockouts in the first round. I'm coming from three great wins. So I think uh, it's a good fight to crack ourselves in the rankings right after this fight, you know? You kind of touched on it there, right? I know you said you're not, like, rushing anything. It's, it's a long time to the top. But a win here, 4-0, and oh, this name, I mean, is it ranked opponents at that point? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I, Everything is going as a plan, you know. All the guys after my fight in Abu Dhabi was coming to, sorry, was coming to me saying like, "Oh, now you need to face a ranking guy and this and that." And I know I can face the ranking guys right now, but as as I plan it, I just wanted to do four fights before getting to the ranking zone, you know. So I think it's the right moment, it's the perfect moment. And after I beat Michelle, I, I will be cracking my way to to fight a top 15 opponent or even a top 10, and. I know, I know it's my time, you know, I know that. Nice. Last thing for me, uh, you touched on it. He's kind of a technical brawler, right? So, I mean, what kind of fight are you expecting to see? Do you expect it to be a little bit hectic, a little bit crazy at first, or can you control it? How, how do you see this thing playing out? Yeah, he can be crazy at first, but he will be crazy if he does it because he knows my ground game, my wrestling. I can take him down and finish him, you know? So... Uh, I, I think he's going to be more composed in the beginning, maybe not coming too fast. But, you know, all these guys, they're crazy guys. So don't, don't, don't scare yourself if he comes throwing bombs in the beginning of the fight and that's it. You know, I'm ready for that too. But 
Yeah, he's more a technical brawler, as I said, and I think he's he's doing a great job. But he, he got the wrong guy, right, wrong guy right now. Thank you. Just Kyle, just what's up, my man? Just, How you doing, brother? Good, bro. I just got <laughs> one question for you. You didn't seem too happy when they announced Sean Strickland and Abu Smagomedov. You kind of sent a little bit of a salty tweet out there. I just wanted you to expand on that. Ah, uh, let me let me think. So, this guy Abu what? Abu Smagomedov, right? Something like that. Oh. Uh, I think, I don't know why the UFC is pushing the, this guy so hard, you know, because he got murdered in the other organization <laughs> by an by a old guy. And now he's here. He faced the guy that is 1-4 in his last five fights. So a guy that was losing all his fights. He got this finish, of course, but I don't see too much about this guy, you know, and the UFC is pushing him to the top, to the rankings right now with just one fight in the UFC, you know. There's a lot, not, not just me, but a lot of the other pro prospects, a lot of the other guys, they, they can push to the rankings, you know. They deserve much more than this guy, you know. But, and this guy called me out after the UFC Abu Dhabi. He called me out. He wanted to fight me and this and that. I didn't even give, give him attention because he was one fight and I get three winning streaks. So, I said to him, like, okay, go, fight one more fight, and then we can fight, no problem. But now now maybe it's a good time, you know, he's he's facing Strickland, but I think Strickland is going to beat the shit out of him, and he's not going to even have my intention after that, you know. After that, he doesn't deserve to face me because I'm going to be on four win streak, you know, and I deserve to be to get a guy from the rankings, and he's not, a, not even going to be close to that, you know. So... It's just a chicken, a chicken that talks too much, and that's it. Thank you.